when he painted this thing. Okay, so right, we've got this here, right? Pay attention, kids, because I'm only gonna say this once and it will be on the test. First of all, what is this skin color? How does this work? This man is red in the face, orange in the body, and white in the legs. Pardon? Second of all, can somebody describe this shape of knee? What specimen is that? What is the geometrical interpretation of this thing? Throw this on the graph and give me the vector equation, please. I get that this leg is this man's leg, but then this leg, it has to be hers. Whose leg is whose here? Cause this one could be hers, but this one could also be hers. But none of these seem to be his. I've gone mad, okay? The other thing of kind of interest that happened, I got cocky and decided to paint her face without sketching it out first. And I ended up paying dearly for my sins. It ended up looking trashy and terrible and not at all like it should have. And then I just went, you know what? I'm done. I threw up my paintbrushes and I just moved on. They're just gonna be faceless. I didn't even paint his face because I was like, I don't want it to turn out like another botched Picasso painting. It's not gonna look right. So after my fit was over, I decided to paint the shell, which looks kind of difficult. It becomes pretty obvious that most of the dimension of it actually just comes from the fact that you're alternating dark and light colors. The whole painting itself is rather flat. There isn't a lot of depth, but that's just me and my very unprofessional, uneducated opinion. So take that with a grain of salt, please. Moving on. So I don't know what I did, but um, her legs ended up looking like extremely shiny. And I know that like part of the lore of the painting is that Venus had just been born or something. But I think that a more plausible explanation is just that she used Gillette Venus for women. <laughs> She's got it. Oh, babe. She's... Okay, we need to talk seriously now. This is, this is no jokes. No jokes, kids. This is a serious matter. I've done something absolutely reprehensible. Something irresponsible. Something disgusting. I painted a nipple. I cannot believe in my 19 years of existence that I would ever say that sentence, but I just did. No, but seriously, it's there, you know, take it or leave it. What? But seriously, you know, it's there, take it or leave it. Uh, if you wish she had a bra on or something, don't worry, I totally agree with you. Just take it up with Mr. Botticelli, Mr. Celli, <laughs> when you get to heaven. Uh, other things that happened, I fixed their faces. No! No! <laughs> no! <laughs> My sneeze went away! My stage just disappeared! Oh. <laughs> okay, they still look dead. <laughs> so eventually I fixed their faces. I painted uh, both of those two people on the left, plus Venus's face. Um, I fixed her face. It was all actually looking pretty good. Venus's hair was also another huge surprise for me because I have a terrible track record when it comes to painting hair. So then for another week and a half, I think at this point, I don't even know, I've like lost track of time. I spent some time just working on details. You know, there were waves and then there were like flowers and then there was these like wheat things plus the grass with the yellow line. Actually about the leaves in the top right corner, I ended up kind of making them look a little bit like a Hawaiian t-shirt, so I'm sorry, <laughs> it wasn't my intention. So eventually Halloween rolled around, I dressed up as nothing, and we played that game where you turn off all the lights, lock the front door, and be really quiet so that none of the trick-or-treaters bother you. And then a couple days later was the real event of the entire year, the American election. Now, let me make something very clear. Me as a Canadian, who's a Congress? What's a Senate, okay? I know nothing about American politics. To me, this entire election has just been a battle between an old man and a deep fried tangerine. <laughs> and for that reason, I won't say much about it. However, I will say one thing. How the hell did you guys mess this up so bad? If the American election was an assignment for school, it would be so overdue at this point 
that I would be obligated to give you all Fs. You know, you've all failed my class. If you gave the American election as a project for a bunch of like 11th grade students and told them that it was worth 80% of their grade, I'm 90% sure that they would be able to just get the whole thing done one night, no issues, no complaining. You know, they'd have graphs, they'd have tallies. But anyways, uh, now that I'm done offending pretty much the entire American population, Let's get back to the painting. Now, I had been through a lot at this point, but the hardest challenge was still up ahead, which is the lady on the right. Okay, like I read this somewhere. I don't, I forgot who said it, but someone did. And uh, the quote goes a little something like this. When you walk out the front door, take at least one thing off. Miss thing, miss ma'am on the right, needs to take off like seven things, okay? Because <laughs> like, <laughs> it's a little bit of an eyesore. So anyways, I started by painting just the red fabric. That went pretty well. I usually like to paint fabric, so this wasn't too much of a big deal for me. And then I painted that white dress and it was looking a little bit dumpy. It kind of looked like the white dress that Triss wore in Divergent <laughs> when she was part of Abnegation or whatever it was called. So I waited a couple days for it to dry and then I painted like a bunch of flowers. Finally, the sleeves, they look like ghosts, but I was able to do it and uh, they actually look kind of good. So I'm surprised about that. So all of these things were, you know, difficult in their own right because they just demand a lot of focus and a steady hand. But for some reason, the hardest thing by far was her face. So the first time I painted her face, the features were all in the wrong places and her skin was translucent. You know what? Okay, fine. We'll just like wait for it to dry and I'll paint over it. Not a big deal. Second day comes. I made her eye like too far down and her nose was huge and it came out to here. It was like Pinocchio looking ass, you know? Also, her skin went from translucent to patchy. So that was a thing. So then I waited another three days to finish her face. And finally, third time's a charm. If it wasn't the charm, I probably would have burned this thing because I was so over it at this point. But yeah, and then when the face was done, it was just her hair, which was just and the right sleeve and then the bow on the sleeve and then we were good and I was done. I was done the whole thing. Just like that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I am done. I'm done. I'm done. I am done. Would you believe it that I'm done? I'm actually done. Wow. I am done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I am done. Come back here. Come back! <laughs> it's cold! Is this my painting? So these are my friends. This is Bill, this is Trisha. So yeah, uh, it's done, it's here. She's here, she's not dry. <clears throat> I can't believe I've actually done this. Get up, we have some talking to do as a family. Let's all listen up, kids. So I have a couple final remarks to give about this painting. So first of all, why are there so many feet? No, no, it's disgusting. If you are a human being that likes feet, I don't know what world of delusion you live in. Like, that is depravity on another level. So you cannot imagine my discomfort when I not only had to paint one foot, I had to paint eight. <laughs> eight different feet. That makes 40 different toes. When I said that painting a nipple was the worst thing I'd ever done, this is like a close second. Ew, and the reason why they look kind of flat and like unfinished is because I just couldn't take it anymore. Like my hands were starting to smell like feet. My paintbrush was turning into a foot. It was just a big toe. So number two, let's all give a quick shout out and prayer to my brushes. These men, have been through 
so much and they're all dead they are all destroyed these brushes will never be the same it's kind of what i get when i use like four dollar craft brushes i use not one palette but two and i haven't cleaned them since i started this thing so you can only imagine the layer of gunk that is on these bad boys so at this point you know where do they belong Whose forearm looks like this? And now to be fair, it's not entirely my fault because in the original, her forearm is like really janky. I wish I didn't make the waves so white. After I painted them and noticed that it was just way too bright, I took a little tissue and like attacked it with the tissue to try to rub some of it off. And it kind of worked, but I wish they were a little bit like yellower or brownish and a little bit more natural looking. Other than that, you know, I think we're kind of good. Obviously her hair is a mess, but it's me. So like, what did you expect? This finger makes me a little bit uncomfortable. And yeah, that's it. That's, that's the whole thing. This is what you've all waited three months for. I mean, it's just gonna sit here like forever now because we literally can't take it anywhere. It's too big. It doesn't fit through the front door. It doesn't go up the stairs, so I can't even put it in my room. Literally when we move from here, we're gonna have to like throw it out the window or something. But yeah. Um, I just wanted to say, you know what? Thanks for sticking around if you're watching this. I had a lot of fun doing this. I might do it again. I know it's a little bit sad for some of you who like the weekly uploads, but I, I can't do it anymore. Like, it's just too much. But yeah, this was fun. Wasn't it fun, Mom? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. It was so fun, wasn't it? It was so fun. I'm gonna have to take this off now. Sorry, you were gonna say something? I smell like a paint. <laughs> a paint? I smell like a paint. Moral of the story is, Thank you so much for watching. It's been great catching up again. I love you so much. And I'll see you in the next one, whenever that may be. So yeah, toodaloo.